Now, as we've been hearing, the Prime Minister will make a televised address to the nation at 8 o'clock this evening to set out further steps to deal with rising Covid cases in England. Parliament has been recalled to sit on Wednesday. It follows an announcement from Nicola Sturgeon that a new lockdown is to be introduced in Scotland, in which people will be ordered to stay at home. Well, Dr. Barrett Pankanya is a senior clinical lecturer at the University of Exeter Medical School and a regular on the programme. And thank you very much for your time again this afternoon. Um, what would you like to hear the Prime Minister announce tonight? Uh, this is something that I have been mentioning before Christmas, which was we need to extend the Christmas natural shutdown for at least a couple of weeks to come uh, to allow the case numbers to go down. So I would like a similar announcement to what Nicola Sturgeon has made. So this morning I was in conversation with several colleagues of mine and directors of public health, and the case numbers are vertical. They are a thousand per hundred thousand. That's very high. We are not in control. We need to have regained control in a, a sh as short a time as is possible. Those figures are four times what they were just four weeks ago. Is, is this all down to the new, the new variant? I refuse to accept that because whether it is a new variant or the old variant, you've got to get infected. And with respect to getting infected equals dropping your infection control guard. So these are the seeds that have been sown from people interacting in the prelude to Christmas. And as a result, they got infected and then they went on to make more and more and more cases. And we haven't got the figures for Christmas and New Year yet. Indeed, it's very worrying because I'm dealing with outbreaks every day in several nursing homes, residential homes, uh, school settings, etc. So the only way to regain control is a shutdown and roll out the immunization program as fast as is possible. Shut down schools, shut down everything. It is a pity, I have to say it in that way, but I do feel that we're not in control and uh, I just feel this is a bit of a failing. We should have acted earlier, harder, faster. I just want to know what out of control actually means. What does it look like on the front line, in hospitals, in wards? What are nurses and doctors having to do that, that suggest to you that things are very clearly getting out of control? OK, so let's take each item uh, in, in turn. In the hospital setting, my colleagues tell me they are working absolutely flat out and every given space that can be used is being used. Wards, corridors, operating theatre, paediatric wards, any place is being used. Furthermore, it takes a long time for a uh, convoy of ambulances to allow the patient in because there is just no place. Then taking it to the nursing home situation, we are experiencing widespread number of outbreaks in these settings. So out in the community, the case numbers are up. Nursing homes, case numbers are up with outbreaks. In hospital settings, they're working flat out with a lot of cases. And they've got the extra pressure now of having to vaccinate people. Yes, the, the good, that is the good thing. So that's what I call the preventative medicine. And with respect to that, my GP colleagues are all very well geared up to immunise as many as possible, as fast as possible. And that's the ray of good hope. Uh, speaking to my GP colleagues, they say to me, supply us with as, much, as many vaccines as you can. We are ready to immunise. I just wonder what you would do if you were walking along the street and you saw a group of six or seven people, I don't know, just breaching the regulations. What would you do? It's very difficult to be confrontational and you would only invite aggression. But what is required is stricter enforcement of, you know, why we are asking you to stay at home. And that only comes from our leaders centrally that this is important, this is serious, it is breaking the country. You will stay at home, it is an order. It's that sort of strict, hard, fast messages that need to come from headquarters. Yeah, the, the message isn't so much that the virus is killing you, it, it's people that are killing you. It is, and it, you see, you, if you drop your guard, so people are almost getting away with saying it, our leaders I'm refer refer referring to, that it is the more infectious strain. I contend 
you've still got to get infected in the first instance. And to get infected in the first instance equals you are interacting with other people. When you could have done, wear your mask properly, don't interact, keep a low profile. Dr. Barrett Pankanya, always good to talk Thank to you. you. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you.